The Path of Mad and Thad by Lindy Ark and Taylor Weaver. First, we begin with glycolysis. Glycolysis consists of two net ATPs and two NAD Hs. Glycolysis is the metabolic pathway that converts glucose, a six carbon molecule, into two pyruvates. which are three carbon molecules. Now before we can introduce the Krebs cycle, we have to go through pyruvate oxidation, which is a little pre-step to jumpstart the Krebs cycle. Pyruvate oxidation begins with three carbons taken from one pyruvate. Now we have to remember that there are two pyruvates, we are just modeling one though. And that H joins with three carbons, then, through oxidation, a carbon comes out and joins with two oxygens to make CO2. And out comes NADH. Now we have acetyl-CoA, a two-carbon molecule. Next, we begin the Krebs cycle. The acetyl-CoA merges with the oxalicylic acid, a four-carbon molecule. Those then react together through enzymes to form citric acid, a six carbon molecule. Now the citric acid will be oxidized through a long process that we will return to in a second to get back to oxaloacidic acid. To get back to the four carbon molecule, two carbons have to clear out um, and join with the oxygen. Now Nat and Thad will come into it all. NAD and FAD are important because these are the inputs in the electron transport chain. These two will lose hydrogen to help develop the ATP and the ETC process. It begins with NAD positive entering and then being reduced into NAD H, releasing hydrogen. This will happen two times in a row, being two separate steps. Then ADP will bond with the phosphate to make ATP. FAD then gets oxidized to form FAD H2 and to release hydrogen. And one more NAD positive enters and is reduced into NAD H plus releasing another hydrogen. And that's how we end up back at the four carbon molecule oxaloacidic acid. Now last we, we begin the electron transport chain cycle. NAD H and FAD H2 release hydrogen. The hydrogen becomes a part of the electron transport chain. Hydrogen is then actively transported through protein complexes into the intermembrane space. But since the concentration is off, the now positive charged hydrogens are passively transported through an ATP synthase. which is where hydrogen charges the bond of ADP to phosphorus to make ATP. After all these stages take place, 36 ATPs are formed in the cell. The end.